Back in the 19th century, people faced problems that were brought by the early stages of industrial revolution, such as poor health care, bad living conditions, bad working environment, poor wages, and long working hours. As the industrial revolution proceeded, the public realized the government would not fix their problems because they were getting ignored, so they formed a group. As the group got bigger, the government could no longer ignore them. This made the government find out a way to please the public by fixing the problems. However, low wages still persist as a problem today. In some places, the public is not happy about it. Today, we don't need to go on riots and strikes to get the government to hear what we have to say. As a result, problems are easily communicated. After a while, the government may start to predict our needs and satisfy us before any trouble can be caused. Just as seen in Seattle, where another law states that the minimum wage will be raised to $15 by 2017, this shows that the people have a bigger effect on the government and the economy nowadays, rather than during the Industrial Revolution, which was also seen back then with new laws being passed in concern for the rights of the workers. In both of these times, one problem was the same, inflation. Inflation is the general rise of price, so if inflation keeps increasing and your wages stay the same, at the end it will be worth close to nothing. That is why the government have come to up with, the, with a decent and fair amount for the minimum wage. On March 24, 1909, the government of New Zealand decided to pass a law which stated the minimum wage for their country. This was the first example of a minimum wage being put into effect on a large scale. The law had started as a way to stop workers from rioting because of their wages. They carried out these riots with the intent of having them raised. The, then, as the citizens went on strike and more and more people started to die because of lack of money, employers also began to lose money as it was either being stolen by citizens or spent. Nowadays, the problems faced by us are similar to the ones in the Industrial Revolution. But, the government decides to fix them in different ways. For example, in Seattle, they raised their minimum wage to $15 in a law that is going to take place in 2020. This was because the government in Seattle um, thought that the minimum wage was unfair for their citizens. This law is also seen put into effect in Australia and in the Industrial Revolution after New Zealand passed a law, it's quickly spread to other countries worldwide uh, and their wages increased uh, while the rights decreased since the public was pleased with the money and they were earning more and more, making their workspaces more comfortable.